Hey, Seth Mosley here with my good friend Rick Barker. He has an amazing podcast and a program called The Music Industry Blueprint. Also was the first manager for Taylor Swift. And I just wanted to introduce you all to what he's doing because it is game-changing stuff for artists. Thank you. And I appreciate you for helping get the songs better that guys like me can go out there and promote with your program as well. Uh, what's real interesting about Seth's situation is that I have dropped an artist off three times <laughs> at your studio so that he could ride and record with you. We're talking about Manifest, Chris Greenwood. That's right. Yeah. And I didn't realize what was going on down in the lair. Down in the la- in the lair. Down yeah. in the lair. <laughs> so it's it's been fun, but I think what we do really complements each other because what I always tell folks is you create it, I'll teach you how to get rid of it because there's a whole world That's out right. there waiting to hear these songs. And yeah. someone asked me one time, they're like, can you play an instrument? Can you sing? I said, oh, gosh, no. I said, but I know so many talented people. I said, my my goal is to affect millions of people with songs I didn't write or record yeah. by teaching them how to distribute. And that's what Taylor did so well. She said, look, where's my audience? What people don't realize is from like 12 to 16, all she did was write songs. Mm. So all these young people are out doing contests and trying to get on The Voice and American Idol and all these things. She honed in on her craft and her audience so that when she got the product right, and boy did she, yeah. she was then able to go build those relationships and that's where I came in. Technically, I was like her second manager. I guess they had they did have another guy early on before me. But I was with her at the start of her big machine career and helped yeah. in the early stages of her development, which is the part that I like yeah. about the business. I was telling you that it's like, I'm good for the babies. Well, I'm this good is... in the beginning part because that's the that's yeah. the most important part. Yeah. And that's also the hardest part. It's the hardest part. And that's what I was just going to say, because there are a lot of managers out there who don't get that part. I would say most managers don't get the development part. And that's okay because it, before the way the business used to be, and you and I've had this discussion, is that it didn't take a lot when the only distribution channel was radio and you had a hit. I mean, you would see artists that would have a hit on the radio and the first time you saw them perform, you're like, man, they're not that great. Yeah, yeah. They haven't really worked on their craft. They haven't done this. But now it's like there's a lot of managers that are good at negotiation and dealing with the labels and planning tours and things like that. Not me. I love... Let's figure out who you are. Let's get your music right. Let's get your brand right. Let's go find that hungry audience that we can feed with your music. And then let's make you presentable yeah. to a manager that their skill set is saying, okay, now that it's been created, now I can take it to that yeah. next level. Yeah. Well, what I, what I love about what you do, not only in your podcast, but in, in your material and your courses and the coaching and everything that you offer, it's all so practical. It's just, you know, you, you don't... There's no BS. I feel like you just talk to people and tell them the truth. Do you want per- someone BSing you or do you want someone who's telling you the truth? I don't. <laughs> Those it's, are called exactly. scams. <laughs> and, and, and you shouldn't either. A lot of times as, as artists and as creatives, yes, we have egos yeah. and we like people to tell us how great we are. And that's good, you know, but you also need those people in your life that aren't afraid to hold you accountable, that aren't afraid to have the tough conversations, that aren't afraid to say, you know what? that song needs to get better or man, you're real pitchy right there, but here's how we can fix it. One of the things that I've always strived to be is a solutions person. There's Mm -hmm. so many people telling us what the problems are in the world, period. Not even outside of music. It's like, here's what the problems are. Well, what are the solutions? The solutions, if you're not writing good songs is to get with someone that can teach you how to write better songs. The solutions for having vocals that aren't that great, Get with Brett Manning, get with Renee Grant Williams, get with someone that can help you with your vocals. Once you get that right, that's when you should look for somebody that can help you get your product out into the world. And that's the role I play in the industry. I know my space. Yeah, that's what my space is. Well, people think so many of so many people in our audience ha- have this misconception. I feel like, and I I know because I had it. Sure. That if you create a great song, it's like the field of dreams thing. If you build it, they'll come. But that's not necessarily the case. No, it's so noisy out there, and there's no shortage of talent. There's no shortage of of songs that are being distributed and released every day. One of something that one of my mentors said to me was, he says. Rick, if you have a message that can change people's lives, it's your responsibility to find them. It's not their responsibility to find you. And that's the same way I feel about music because that's what music does. 
you know, music can change people's lives. It, yeah. I, I know music has changed my life. It's changed mine. I, there's, yeah. there's songs that have maybe taken you out of certain situations that you were in. So if you're writing that and you're creating that, the tools that are available today, I mean, I, have, I teach people, I call it how to become a social media ninja in under an yeah. hour. It's like yeah. every day you can get your music out there, but the situation is, is most of you are just, look at me, vote for me, look at, here's my video. Yeah. Watch this four minutes of this complete stranger's video and tell me exactly. what you think about it. <laughs> Instead of using social, what it was originally designed for, which was to build relationships yeah. and maintain friendships. You're all marketers. If you're not, you need to become one. You're all salespeople. If you're not, you need to become one. But marketing and sales are different. Marketing is building the demand for your product. Sales is actually the execution of selling yeah. the product. Look at all the content that you put out in the world mm -hmm. to show people that, hey, when you decide you want to write better songs, I can help you. When yeah. you decide you want your demos to not sound like you recorded them, yeah. <laughs> I can help you. And there's a time when you need to record your demos, sure. but when you want yeah. to present them, you know, you're giving people an opportunity. One of the things that blew me away when I was on your website, I was like, okay, wait a minute. He's 750 bucks. I was like, somebody says, hey, what's a good budget for a, a demo? I said, 1000 1200 if you yeah. want it to be quality yeah. with decent players. Sure. And I'm looking at yours going, Okay, now I'm all of a sudden just kind of sending people in that direction. But the point that I'm making is this. You don't have to do it alone. No successful business is not getting guidance from someone who's, I don't want to say smarter than they are. It's more knowledgeable. Yeah. You know, it's like I, if I need help, if someone comes to me and says, hey, Rick, what can I do to write a better song? I'm going to say, let me introduce you to someone who can teach you that. If someone comes to you and says, hey, we, we just wrote yeah. this great song. How do we get rid of it? Then you're going to point in my direction. It's like knowing your limitations. So with now with distribution where you can write it, record it, shoot a video, release yeah. it, and get paid all in the same day, why wouldn't every creative want to learn as much about that as they possibly can yeah. and get all the tools in place? To yeah. make that happen. Yeah, there, nowadays there are no excuses anymore, and if you are making excuses, that's you know you you have no reason to because it's all there, like Rick said. And one thing that I have have admired and getting to know you as well is you know both of us offer ways to to help people, people that they can interact with us and work with us. Sure. And we're not like the cook who doesn't eat his own cooking. I mean, both mm -hmm. of us have invested and invest every day very heavily in ourselves in exactly what you just said. We seek out guidance from people who know how to do YouTube and how, how to do these things. And, I, have a, you know, I have a management program and I help manage artists all over the world right now and I'm very transparent with them. And when I sit down and they're like, hey, you've got, you're learning all this stuff. I noticed your YouTube videos are looking better. And yeah. I said, yeah, because I just paid someone $6,000 to teach me how to do better YouTube videos. And they're yeah. like, man, Rick, your emails, they're, they're so much better than they used to be. And I'm like, right, because I went to Amy Porterfield and spent $400 to learn how to write better emails. Yeah. And boy, you know, the, the way your website looks now, and I'm like, guys, I'm investing in myself every yeah. day. And, and because my business is set up properly, they're write-offs. Yeah. As... Yeah. Is education, be, if you yeah. set up your business properly, working with us is a tax write-off. So not only do you get, you know, 25 plus number one songs, Grammy, Dove Award, launch one of the biggest stars in the world, works with major labels, you can have direct access to us and it be a write-off in your business. Think about that for a second. Yeah. I just thought of that. I'm like, wait a minute. I can now learn how to become a songwriter. Yeah. <laughs> and I can write it off. Exactly. <laughs> My hits are coming, people. <laughs> Rick, I'm really excited for our audience to get to learn what it is that you do and sure. see how they can interact with you. And, and likewise, too, looking forward to seeing how Appreciate we can plug it. in and add value. No, and I, I'm excited, too. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to learn more about me, just go to rickbarker.com. Yeah. Uh, it's the easiest way. You can grab a free copy of my book. You can follow my podcast. You can, if you're wondering if now's maybe the right time for you to get a manager, you can take the manager assessment. And do yourself a favor. If you've been watching Seth's stuff for a long time and you're still kind of on the fence about this, get off the fence because there's someone less talented than you that's making better decisions mm -hmm. than you. And I'm looking at people who are less talented living the, the life 
that you want to live. I'm seeing people less talented kicking my butt in business. That's why I've been getting all these coaches is go watch his webinar. Listen to what it is that he has to say. Take his advice. Get your business set up properly. It, to have a business expense to write with someone of this caliber, I was saying to him earlier in the office, and I hope you don't mind me sharing this because yeah, yeah. I'm going to share it anyway. Uh, <laughs> The opportunity for someone who all he could do every day is just book writing appointments and produce records and keep all this stuff to himself. The fact that he's even willing to share his knowledge and experience and not just say it, but he's critiquing your music. He's giving you an opportunity where he can produce your music. It's like that doesn't happen. Walk up and down Music Row to any of these publishing houses you see with the big banner sitting outside and go, hey, can I talk to the guy that's on the banner that just wrote that number one hit song? And they're going to kind of laugh at you because that's not how the business works. Mm -hmm. The fact that you have opened up your world to them, and a lot of it is because you're a believer and because you and I both are yeah. and we believe yeah. that what we have something to share, yeah. that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. You better take advantage of this because I... I watched the webinar. I had no idea what was going to happen. Sat out on my deck, smoking a cigar, watching the webinar, laughing when he's playing Bon Jovi songs on his <laughs> guitar. And then you put up the price and I'm like, okay. And now he's talking about his coach telling him to charge. Okay. I said, this is the price. And when it kept going lower, I'm getting on the phone with my people going, look, you didn't sign up for his webinar, but I did. Here's the link. You got to go buy this thing because right now, if it goes up, you're screwed. This is a really... It's, it's an unbelievable deal, and I'm not making anything by saying this. I'm just telling you guys, yeah. don't – opportunity is what this town's built on. Yeah. And if you sit around and let opportunities like this pass you by, this might not necessarily be the right business for you. You can be, have a hobby. You can write songs. You can do whatever. But if you want to take it to the next level, you have to take advantage of opportunities when they come to you, and that opportunity came to you. Take advantage of it. All right? So go out. Grab our stuff. We've got tons of free yeah. stuff. Listen to our podcast. But be an action taker. Yeah. If you want to say, Taylor was an action taker. We did not wait for anything. It's like we saw something. It was an opportunity. We took advantage of it. Yeah. That's so good. Well, um, I, I think that's a great way to wrap this video up. The, the business is... Yeah, we have a songwriting session we do. that we, we got to go to right session. now. My number two song. That's we right. We do. <laughs> it's called Action Takers. That's, that's what we're going to call it here. <laughs> that's the great hook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking forward for you guys to get to know uh, Rick here more over the coming months. And we're going to be doing some fun stuff together. So um, y'all get out and take some action today. It doesn't matter how small it is. Like sometimes it's just the next baby step, right? <laughs> And actually, could be being nice to someone today. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> do that. Absolutely do that. Post Somebody. on Instagram. Yeah. Do it. So, uh, Seth Mosley here with Rick Barker. Check out his stuff again at Music Industry Blueprint, rickbarker.com. Rickbarker.com is the best place to find me. Awesome.